Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Hello to you all and welcome to today's game. And the match today, Hull City against Tottenham. Number 23, David Marshall. Number 6, Curtis Davis. Number 13, Andrea Ramagia. Number 3, Andrew Robinson. Number 15, Sean Maloney. And number 18, the Virgin and the Carney. Oh, what a big day, Alan nervousness around the place here uh, the championship will be won if results elsewhere go their way it's not in their own hands no but they've just got to do their own job haven't they and then they can look elsewhere afterwards Hull have one change David Marshall starts in goal Curtis Davis starts despite looking shaky in recent games but they just go with the one striker up front Quite a lot of changes in this Spurs lineup. Hugo Lori starts in goal. Toby Aldevarel starts with Jan Vertonghen as the centre backs. Deli Ali starts with Christian Eriksen in midfield. Gareth Bale is the main striker today. Neil Swarbrick is our referee. The referee for today's game is Neil Swarbrick. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Waiting is over. The game is off and running, and so are the players. You can feel the disappointment around the ground. With little time left on this final day of the season, at the moment they won't be champions. No, it always looks a bit of a stretch coming into this game. That seems to be how it's panning out. Janssen. Alan, what sort of advice would you be giving to the players to deal with the pressure of going for a title like this? You've been a winner twice. Well, you just try and play the way that you have for most of the campaign, the way that's got you into this position. and Just keep your eye on the ball, that's, that's basically the message. Nice return pass. Got for the through pass. Nice bit of footwork from the attacker, but it was made too easy for him. Poor defending that. Curtis Davis. To Robertson. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Got the tackle in. And Dyer. It's good work between these two. Goal news involving Watford. It's a goal for Watford. 22 minutes played, 1-1. Cheers, Alan. Davis. Christian Eriksen. It's an exhibition here with such great passing. Player right at him, but he's kept the ball well. Good defending. Well, he's got support here. Shots on here. Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his, and he's made sure he's protected it. That game finished goalless between these two earlier this season. On this ground, Bale! Hit the puck, and here's the shot. 
offside. That's an easy decision. Ericsson. Spurs get the referee's advantage. To put them in front. And that's a terrific goal to put them in front. There he was, and very, very coolly taken. Talk about passing the ball into the net. Well, there is a prime example. Well, let's take another look at the goal. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Let's go over to Stamford Bridge and Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Chelsea. It's been scored by Diego Costa. That's his second today. There seemed to be no danger, but inexplicably, the defender slipped, allowing him to race clear and round the keeper. 35 minutes played, 3-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. So Spurs have got this lead. Yeah, the clock was... Uh, Half time on the horizon, of course. It might be quite a difficult second half for them. They'd like another goal, that's for sure. Being moved around nicely here with this passing game. Good interception. It's looking good this move. It's good to know how much longer there is. This wasn't there always the case, certainly. Well, the referee's penalised him, Jan Vertonghen. It's yellow from the ref. Oh, without question. Was that just a case of mistiming the tackle? He just didn't seem to get his balance right there. It was a clumsy challenge. Well, they've got 45 minutes left, Alan, haven't they? 45 minutes in which to try and turn this around. As it stands, they won't be champions. No, well, they haven't quite been good enough, have they, so far? Certainly not played how they have for most of this season. So that is the half-time scoreline, and it's been very enjoyable. Well, second half coming up, and I'm sure you're all looking forward to it. Spurs hold the... Uh, the cards at the moment. Let's go to Alan McAnally quickly. There's a penalty at the Emirates. It's a penalty for Everton. It's going to be Leighton Baines. He's put the ball down on the spot. Here he comes. Oh, it's a terrible penalty. Easy save for the goalkeeper. Straight down the middle. 47 minutes played. It remains 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. That passing is top class. Mason. Tottenham given the throw. Aurier. News of a goal from Watford. It's a second goal for Watford. 54 minutes played. 2 1. Cheers, Alan. About to come a Hull City substitution. It's a free kick given against Tottenham. Tottenham are in a bit of trouble here. Their man's going to get a yellow card. Well, stay on your feet and you won't be committing that kind of challenge. Genuine attempt to go for the ball. Well, it is a foul, Martin. He didn't really seem to get his balance right there before making the challenge. Activity on the bench for the losing team. 
A substitute getting ready to come off. Here's Ali. Alan McInnell is watching the game at Manchester United today from Old Trafford, a goal. It's a goal for Manchester United. It's been scored by Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The ball was crossed just outside the box and he was on hand to fire a beautiful volley into the back of the net. 59 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Bale. Here's a chance to attack. Shots on here, and they have scored, and they do lead now by two, and they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match, we'll see. The side that has the form, and indeed you would think the better players, are doing well at the moment. They've got a goal, and they're beginning to boss proceedings. Yeah, they're moving the ball about better, Martin, certainly getting good delivery in from those wide areas, the much stronger side. Restarting at two. A diet. On the whole horizon, a new player, a substitute. Crisp defending there. Dembele. Well, they're in a good position here. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Curtis Davis. Robertson. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. Building steadily here, keeping possession. In quickly. Typified the competitive nature of this game, that tackle. It's only a throw in. He's going to come off the attacking midfield player. A change to be made. And uh, they've obviously feel he's done his job. He was good. Oh, he was good. Extremely good. And he'll be uh, watching the highlights tonight, I'm sure, because uh, he was star man for me. position they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now defender to it first Hull City making a change here Gareth Bale just over quarter of an hour left on my watch a timely challenge he's coming forward with some danger On EA Sports very soon for you. The Champions Cup fixture. Spurs, they'll be hosting Real Madrid. Yeah, high quality fixture this one. There won't be much quarter given. Great chance. Taking the chance with the shot there. Yeah, thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. And now he's going to sort out that earlier incident and book the player who committed the foul. Yeah, he doesn't miss much, this ref. He's, he's eagle-eyed and... Uh, he wanted to give the team a chance to move forward, but always oh, going to produce the yellow for that. Well, now they're behind. They've got to try and switch things around. And here comes a substitution. Tip top Tottenham today, I think. Played very well in their inventive style, deserved their half time lead, and they would deserve to win the game if they can see it through. Good forward play from them. Comes in with a tackle. The shot's on! That's fine work from the goalkeeper against an opponent who certainly troubled him today. Well, his teammates should be thanking him.
because really the striker was favourite and I thought he was going to score. Gone for the through pass. Could have been a corner, but just as veered away, it'll be a throw. Attacking now. And well, that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Aurier. Three minutes from the uh, rim. And he could get away here. Three minutes. Bail! Just wide of the target. Bale. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. That final whistle does confirm that they do have a Champions Cup place secured for next season. It's uh, perhaps not what they were aiming for at the start, but it's a, it's a pretty good achievement from a long campaign of hard graft. Yeah, I mean, it means so much, doesn't it, the Champions Cup these days in, in terms of prestige and revenue, and you've just got to be in that competition to, to regard yourself as one of the big fish and... They're in that company now, so brilliant stuff.